Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop videos. On today's video, I'm going to do a Where Are They Now on the actor Michael Wright. Michael Wright was one of the most talented black actors in the 1980s and 90s. And some of you may remember him from such movies like Five Heartbeats, where he played Eddie Kane. Some of you may remember him on the TV show Oz, where he plays Omar Wright. Some of you may remember him from the movie Sugar Hill. But he started acting in 1979. 1979 was his first movie role where he played a high school student in the movie The Wanderers. And The Wanderers is about young Italians versus young black students in the conflict between these two groups of people. I think it's because a bunch of dumb ass greaseball guinea wild homosexual you meet your friends Charlie's field okay Saturday you got it Saturday at noon man. no guns and no knives all right Michael's second major acting role came in 1984, where he plays Alias Taylor in a TV series, V. Now, this was a popular TV series during the mid-1980s. And his character on the show was so popular, they named a toy after him. And if you grew up in the 80s, you probably remember this show. Most younger people probably never heard of it. But this was a popular show about aliens taking over the world and he plays a revolutionary soldier trying to fight for humans and this was a really great show i liked this show when i was growing up in the 80s in 1987 he co-stars in the movie the principal with jim belushi in this movie, he plays the main villain in the movie. He plays a gang leader named Victor Duncan. And this is the first role where he plays a true villain. And it shows his acting chops. It shows that he can play the bad guy and do it good. You're not the principal here anymore, fucker. And if you come back tomorrow and you try, you're going over the body bag. You threatening me? You're a dead man if you come here tomorrow. In 1991, he co-stars in the movie The Five Heartbeats. Now, this movie is a cult classic. It was directed by Robert Townsend, and it came out in 1991. It's looked at as one of the greatest black movies of all time. And Michael Wright plays the role of Eddie Kane, the drug addict, alcoholic in the group. And I thought his performance was amazing. I thought he should have been nominated for an Oscar. He steals the show in this movie. He's the one that makes this movie have so much heart. And if you haven't seen this movie, I advise you to check it out. In 1994, he co-stars with Wesley Snipes in the movie Sugar Hill. This movie was critically acclaimed and his performance was critically acclaimed. The movie revolves around two brothers who are drug dealers in New York. And his brother wants to get out of the drug game. But Michael Wright's character doesn't want his brother to leave the drug game. And his father was very abusive when they were growing up. And he hates and resents his father. And I thought he showed so much emotion in this movie. This is one of the most underrated hood movies of all time in my personal opinion. In 2001, he co-stars in the HBO series, Eyes. And I thought his performance on the show was amazing. He plays the role of Omar White. And if you haven't seen this show, you need to see it. It's just as good as The Wire. A lot of people talk about how great The Wire was. Well, Oz was every bit as good as The Wire. So if you enjoyed The Wire, you're going to enjoy Oz. And Michael was on the show from 2001 to 2003. And this was one of his last great acting roles. And what's a shame is, out of all the great acting roles that he's had over the last 30 years, he's never been nominated for an Emmy, and he's never been nominated for an Oscar. 
he's one of the most underappreciated actors in the history of film, in my personal opinion. Now today, Michael Wright is 59 years old, and he's had some health problems over the last several years. He's been hospitalized several times, and as you see in the recent photos, he's very thin, very frail. I don't know exactly what's causing his illness, whether it's drugs and alcohol, whether it's an illness. I'm not going to speculate. Let's just hope that he gets better in the future. I think he's one of the most talented actors of all time. And I just pray for him and hopefully he recovers and gets his life back on track. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate and subscribe.